Hey guys, Tony Soy Sass Assassin. Welcome to another cigar review. And today we're doing something I never had before again. So today is the La Cla Comena by Warped um, Black Honey. I think I wrote it. Yep. And this is sent to me by Working Man Cigar Roger a while back. Um, I kind of procrastinated on this one because there's so much hype on this and I didn't want to be involved or affected by that particular hype. I know that I can this to myself thinking, oh, everybody thinks it's so good. So I can, I, this must be good. You know, I tried, I have done it down so many cigars that's kind of disappointing because of what I heard that I don't want to be disappointed. So I waited, I waited, okay? All right, so. Ah, ugh. Uh, all right. Uh, this particular cigar. Let's take a look. It is twenty-two dollar a stick for a five by forty-eight. That's quite a price. That's quite a price. The wrapper is Ecuadorian Habano Oscuro. The binder is Ecuadorian. The filler is Dominican Republica and Nicaraguan, and. and that makes this cigar, this is really tidy packed. There's like double binder in here or something. It's just very, very tightly packed. Okay. And um, yeah, they, they call this Vitola Bellicoso. So we'll see. That's actually very small for a Bellicoso. Very small. So, but yeah, I, I like how this looks. It's very tight. Like almost like a chocolate or something like that. Yeah. Okay. So let's get started. Uh, by the way, this is made at El Titan de Bronze. It's actually in Miami. So we'll see. Uh, okay. It's a woodsy and uh, sweet smell. Yeah, it's like a sweet woodsy smell. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sweet woodsy smell. Where the is the cap? Please don't tell me that's all the cap that you put on here. That's that's it. That. Wow. Okay. So how much I can cut? Kind of. There's no way. I had to cut it again. Yeah. Yeah, that cap is so tiny. Hmm? Tastes like like a zesty dry cereal. Zesty dry cereal. All right. $22. Don't fail me. $22. Wow. Oh, 
a lot of flavor pepper boom and then opens up with a flavor right away right after i take that puff wow Ooh, that pepper. It just go all over. There is like a grapefruit skin kind of taste. There's a little bit of woodsiness. There's a little bit of grittiness. There's also a hint of that cereal somewhere. A little bit floral, floral too. That's kind of combined with that, that grape, fruit skin. No, grapefruit skin, not grape. Grapefruit skin. Or should you call that grapefruit peel? Whatever that outer thing is called. There's also a, a wood bitterness at the side of my tongue for some reason. Definitely a zesty smell to it. If I smoke that zesty too, that that smell too fast. That zest combined with the the wood bitterness is actually a little bit earthy. I don't know what else I'm picking up. That's pretty much what I'm picking up right now. So let me smoke one third. I'll be right back. All right. So that's probably one third. I'm gonna say the original startup punchiness and all the flavor kind of died down and there's a lot of pepper if you like pepper there's a lot of pepper this is a lot of pepper all right and still got that cereal still got that zestiness still got a little bit like that fruitiness to it but the pepper is the forefront it's ve it's very part it's my nose i'm talking here right now my nose still burns I'm sitting here and my nose is still burning. And maybe I'll sit for another three minutes, it will still be burning. Yeah, it's still burning, right? So <clears throat> it has a lot of flavor. However, $22 a cigar for something like this, it, it's it's too quick. I only been smoking for like what, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes? Not even. And 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 this this thing is one third gone. A little bit almost a little bit more than one third gone. It's a lot. It's a lot. Um, for the flavor that's giving me right now, it doesn't feel like a twenty-two dollar cigar. It feels like it's going away too fast. Um, but it doesn't mean that it can't get closer, right? So right now it's not bad. I'm I'm just hoping for the flavor to co come back up. You know, the ash doesn't look too bad at all. You know, it's very sturdy. It's very firm. Uh, the draw is on a little bit on the tight side, but it doesn't make me feel like I have to pull out a stem or something like that right now. So it's doable. It's pretty good quality, I guess. Uh, so yeah, we'll continue to smoke this another third before we make a judgment whether or not this thing is even great. Right now, it's not bad, and we'll see what not bad will take me. Be right back. All right, second third, um, the flavor just gets more and more peppery. The strain's about medium, medium plus, and that all that goodness just changed to a relatively nice. Sweeter cedar. And you get this really weird muted sweetness at times. It's sweet, but like imagine that zestiness, that grapefruit. That cereal got left in the milk for a long, long time. You know, you're eating cereal and then it got left it there. So it's all softened up. 
and then you take away all the milk goodness, right? So all the flavor went to the milk, you take it out and then start chewing the leftover. So you're not gonna have any of those. You got a sweetness, but you don't have that really, the, the flavor It's just kind of, it's like, it's sweet, but you can tell where it came from, but that flavor is very, very muted. And then, you, it's just less of the same thing. But that pepper is there. That pepper is there. I, I, you know, I wanted to say this is a good cigar. But not for an experienced smoker. Why? Because if you are not an experienced smoker, you are not going to pick up some of these muted notes that kind of, in a way, being a negative for the cigar. You gotta, you gotta taste all the sweetness and still go, oh, that's sweet. You gotta taste the, the cedar and say, go, oh, that's that's nice cedar. But you're not gonna taste that muted taste where you go wonder, what is that? You know? But it, for me, it feels like the flavor died and just left over whatever, but the corpse still there. You know what I'm saying? So, 22, I can't give it 22 right now. Uh, with that muted taste, I have to give somewhere in the um, $15 range. 15 right now. So we'll see how they perform last, last year, last year. If it performs good last year, maybe it'll go up a little bit more. But right now we're about $15 range. Like if you say this thing is $15, I'll be like, oh, okay, that's not too bad. $15 range. Yeah, back. All right, finished up. Laster is very strong. Laster is just is full. Okay, as you smoke it, you're like, oh, this little thing has punch. Laster is strong, but Laster the flavor kind of come back a little bit, but because the strength kind of ruins a little bit, I can only give maybe a dollar, dollar and a half, sixteen to sixteen fifty for this cigar. For that enjoyment because how strong it is. Some people might like it though. If you like the strength, then yeah, it's perfect for you. Like you one cigar, you're like, mm, I feel it. Right? So yeah, then that's for you. For me, $16 novelty. Novelty cigar. I don't I don't think that is the flavor is intrigued me enough to say, hey, I want to spend $22 on this particular cigar all the time. But I, I think it's um it's a novelty. It doesn't have the Uh, how do I say it? The delivery of all the enjoyment of that cigar in that little package. You know, and literally, I feel like this is one of those like can cigar. Like, it's not really bellicose, so it's that it's, it's, it's tiny. So, I don't know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't pay 22 for this one for sure. 16, 16, 50, maybe. And even that, I think the strength a little too strong. And I think they did it uh, in order to bring out that flavor, but still too strong. So, Here's a band, very tiny, 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 teeny, tiny band, tiny, teeny, tiny band. So here we go. It says La Comena, Comena, and the warp on the other side. So, but it's called Black Honey. So I don't know why they don't have Black Honey on here. But they do have like a honeycomb kind of thing going on in there. I think it's kind of cool. The band's not bad. I, it has a little thought to it, but not perfect, I guess. Yeah, that's what we got. So yeah, thanks to uh, Walking Man Cigar, bring me this cigar, just smoked. Very interesting cigar. It is one of those cigars that I probably would not buy it by looking at it. And I'm, I'm pretty sure I walked by it many times. I just never bought it. Maybe because of the size. The size is tiny for that price. I, I didn't think it was worth it. So yeah, so I will still recommend people to go try it though. If you like, uh, if you like heavy string and high, uh, a lot of pepper, it's, it's an interesting cigar to try. It's just $22. Kind of uh, overreach in, in, in terms of price, you know? I think I would enjoy it more if uh, if the if the strength stays in medium, right? Because as the, as the strength goes up, you tend to taste that little bit of bitterness from whatever they put in there, the hero or whatever. The strength that kind of delivers a little bit of that burn charred taste, which also 
you know, depends how you smoke it, sometimes brings a bitterness to it, right? So yeah, that will be it for this particular review. I hope you enjoy it. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Um, and if you'd like to enjoy some of these contents faster than anybody else, make sure to join our membership. It is available. If you just want, if you just want to like, you know, support the channel, or whatever, we do have super chat, whatever, super like, whatever, uh, whatever that thing is. I can't remember what the name. But not only if you feel like it, we also have uh, uh, Patreon. We also have Patreon for those people who want to support it. But if you're not, totally okay. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.